All right, so this project's gonna be mainly for the backyard. This bit over here, we're gonna take out all the Walters Viburnum, one, two, three, four, five of them, and use them in the backyard somewhere. Move the Ligustrum back, take out the um, European Fan Palm, and do a Robolini out here. I think a triple Robolini would look really nice. And maybe so we don't cut them off from here, we put it towards the end of the bed. Um, so manipulate that Ligustrum and Flax Lily. Um, right here off the end of the patio, we are gonna do a walkway. So we're gonna do metal edging from the corner and we'll round it and then square it off with their property line all the way down to the fence there. And then this is all gonna be gravel and um, stepping stones or flagstone, preferably um, flagstone. We've got one, two, three, I think four or five heads to cap off. We won't need water on this side of the house anymore. Okay, and we're gonna need the heads actually because they've created a bed in the back that really needs the sprays. So two more back here. We are going to discontinue the viburnum hedge. Those two of them, sorry. Those two are gonna reuse somewhere else on the other AC. There's just not enough space to grow anything here. This spray zone, we're gonna bring back and run probably at least three if not four heads along the back where the Ligustrums are and take the turf heads or along the proper line and move them out to where the grass is so that way we have it actually properly irrigated. Um, backyard, got a couple things. We need to, um, I'll have this looked at by um, the kitchen guys, but we need to go ahead and um, do one inch pavers on top of here. And if we do that, that might affect the way that door opens or will affect, so we need to see if we can lift that up or not. Um, talking about, they wanted to go a little further out with their patio, like two feet. And then I talked to them instead of squaring it off, having this come out and from the point here, it's kind of create a cool rounded effect out there and work with the bed that they have. So we kind of create like a nook out there for like a fire pit um, and then potentially a really cool palmless waterfall here off the edge of their patio with like a trifecta of queen palms here. Maybe where the patio dips out, we'll do a queen palm here closer to the house. And then back there, we'll do a bottle brush and make a really cool like bird sanctuary back there. Um, taking out the river birch, reusing the grasses that are back here, taking out the magnolia, and then do like a two by two or three by three pad here for the shower if possible. And this is all flagstone as well comes around and connects to the patio. That's the job. We uh, went out there last week, built the Palmas Waterfall, and also did a little bit of landscape and uh, mulch the property. Well, this week, the pavers are finally ready. We're gonna go out there and prep for pavers and a little flagstone walkway from the uh, front of the yard to the back of the yard and make this yard beautiful. Is whenever you're doing a patio, you want to have four inches of base underneath your patio. Just for the settling purpose and the compaction purpose, what we're going to do is we're going to dig out all the soil, compact it, put crushed creek down, compact that, and then we'll be able to put our pavers on top. Right now, I'm putting down a little base. I'm going to be doing a flagstone walkway over to their shower. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm putting down a little bit of base so the gravel and the rock that I put down don't settle over time. Because this crushed green actually hardens. Yeah, this flagstone isn't that light. Each piece is probably, I would say, 150 pounds. 
So right now we're taking this flagstone and we're going to do a cool little pattern with the flagstone coming out with gravel in between it. So it's going to be a little walkway for them to go over to their shower. So we're going to do a cool little design with the flagstone. Today we're working on the pavers up the front. They had an existing slab here. It was just a concrete slab. What we're doing is we're using the remodel pavers on top of that. Um, we faced it so it kind of blends in with their driveway. We're also doing the same in the back. They had a slab back there. So if you guys want to meet me back there, we'll see what's going on back there. All right, so here we are in the backyard. They're doing the same thing. They had a concrete slab here. So we're using the remodel pavers on top of the slab. And then outside the slab, we're going to extend the patio so we're gonna use the full size pavers on the outside of the patio to transition into the remodel pavers. So what the guys are working on now is actually making that transition from the remodel pavers to the regular size two and three eighths pavers. So they're gonna to have to lift up those remodel pavers and go ahead and float a little bit of crushed creed underneath it to make that transition. So we've excavated the dirt on this side of the house. Uh, now our next step is we're gonna bring the crushed creed in compact that, and then go ahead and start laying our flagstone and gravel. Uh, strongman competition here. Uh. You see that one right there? I did that one by myself too. I'm not doing it again. Great job, you guys. Thank you for all the hard work. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right so John and I, say hey, John. Hey. John and I, John, John's actually, if uh, he hasn't been introduced yet, he's actually our, uh, our video guy. He's been working with the crew. Um, for the past month, right? Month and a half now? Three. Three months. So he, he came to us three months ago. He's been working out there, and we discovered a hidden talent. Um, he does this on the side. He has actually a lot of uh, really cool uh, video stuff he does for um, weightlifting competitions. So we are now taking... Oh, we're going over the bumpy bridge. Um, we are now taking um, his assets and putting it to proper use. So he still gets to do what he wants, uh, what he loves, and be out in the garden, right? Loving right. out landscaping, doing some fun stuff. Um, but uh, he's doing it and also getting to film at the same time. So we're going out to go check out the final product of Dalkies. Um, Sean's still out there. Uh, we'll hope we catch him before he takes off for the day. Um, sounds like they're finished up. We've been waiting actually about another week and a half or so. We were uh, rain delayed on sod, so um, Sean just finished that up. Uh, a couple little punch outs uh, where the dogs were digging underneath the flagstone. Um, kind of solved that issue and uh, gonna go check this thing out. Check in in a second. Yeah, this is this is what we pulled up to. Yep, there's Sean. Hey, Sean. He's all done for the day, obviously. All right, Sean, let's see his creation. I do love this flagstone. This flagstone's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so you gotta see the before and after on this one's awesome. Um, so before, this was the just straight grass yard where the dogs would just dig, 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 dig. So now we've got a really cool playground for the pups. Um, so uh, hopefully we can get the pups to come out here in a second, but we got a playground for the pups. Um, Dragonfly and uh, Hummingbird Sanctuary throughout. You can actually see, get a little zoom up already. You got the butterflies coming in on the fire spike in the back behind the waterfall. So, this thing turned out awesome. So, I'll try to grab the homeowners here in a second because uh, this is what we've been waiting on for two weeks now is the lawn. That little patch of grass on both sides, we've been waiting for that forever. So, turned out awesome though.
What are things you guys love about the project? Oh, the absolutely. Waterfall? Butterflies. I love the butterflies. butterflies. It's coming ever since they found I love that as soon as we came back in the backyard, there was a butterfly on the fire spike as we came in the backyard. Especially because, oh, you, you know, he's going. Yeah, yeah. There was a big, I think it was a big zebra that was on there. I've never seen that particular species. Yeah. So that's, that's the first thing that if you start noticing, hey, I'm losing water pretty quick. What's going on out here? If you call, that's number one, is that's the little spot where all the water can go back down and it can clog a little bit over time. And literally, if all you do is just stir it, it'll go right back down. Yeah. Yeah, so I kind of want it to flow that way so you don't tell where it really ends. So she's cranking up the waterfall a little bit right now to get a little bit more high power. But um, this pump is variable speed, so they found their sweet spot is at, at four, right guys? They like the four, it's not too loud, not too soft. All right, cool. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Earthworks Jack. Like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, and go ahead and comment below.